Hello, this is Chris Maddox over at thewildwomanproject.com and I'm talking to you today because it is almost new moon time. So the new moon happens approximately every 28 days and when that moon is new, if you look up in the sky, it's dark. The moon is very much hidden back behind the sky, which is a perhaps a cue to us to draw back sort of um, to drop into our internal waters, to listen to uh, the desires of our heart. What is it that we wish to create in the cycle of head? What do we want to see come into fullness? Um, so, you know, each new moon is a time where we can really begin again and begin again and begin again um, every 28 days or so. So at the Wild Woman Project, one of the ways we nurture this process is by gathering in wild woman circles in our communities. Each and every month in circle, there is a new theme. And that new theme is sprung from the astrological influence of that particular new moon. So the theme is the idea that we gather around. We explore this theme with a meditation, with a ritual, with group intention setting, so that when we leave the circle, we are crystal clear on what we are going to be intentionally uh, calling in and creating in the cycle ahead. It is an incredibly powerful time to connect to our community and to connect deeply with our own hearts. So I will put a link uh, below this video to a list of all of the circles happening uh, now internationally. Uh, and you know, if you don't see your city, you may want to start your own wild woman circle. We have training that actually starts Monday on the new moon, April 28th. But let's talk about this theme, this idea that we are gathering around. So this particular new moon falls in the astrological sign of Taurus. Taurus is represented by the bull, which is like this very big, strong uh, creature. And it is also ruled by the planet Venus, which is the planet of love and of beauty. So it's a very interesting combination of sort of strength, persistence, um, married to this sense of beauty and this sense of love. So our theme this month is um, inspired by what's actually happening in our environment right now in the Northern Hemisphere, it is spring. The flowers are blossoming. And we're going to be looking to the flower, all different kinds of flowers, uh, on how the process of them actually going from bud to really opening and to blossoming, uh, how we can essentially mirror and align with that process ourselves in the month ahead. So there's going to be lots of flowers at Circle. In fact, many of the leaders are encouraging you to bring a flower, to wear floral prints, whatever you like, but it's going to be all about the flowers. It's going to be really about uh, the blossoming. And um, is, this content was very much inspired by the words of Anais Nen, who wrote, And the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. So our theme is to blossom. That will be the exploration. We will be asking ourselves what, what needs to blossom in us? What is ready? What is ready to take the plunge to go from that bud to that great opening, which takes both strength of the bull and uh, vulnerability and generosity of spirit of that Venus to allow the opening, to allow the uh, beauty within to shine out into our lives, be that through our work, through our relationships, to ourselves and others, to the world around us. For each of us, each new moon is different. Each of us has a deeply personal journey always going on. 
with that cycle of new, full, new again, birth, coming into fullness, washing away, death, these cycles, the seasons, the cycle of menstruation, the cycle of the moon. So when you when that day, Monday, April 28th comes, uh, if you cannot make it to a circle, what you can do is give yourself the space to really go inward and to ask the question of your own heart, what what is it that is blossoming? Now, if you can make it to a circle, I strongly encourage it. The circles are the reason the Wild Woman Project exists. And again, if you do not see your city listed and you feel really called uh, to do some of this lunar work and to serve women and to gather in circles and to create a sense of community where you live. Uh, you can take the Wild Woman Circle Leader training from anywhere. It's 12 weeks, 12 lessons, seven live telecircles. I'll put a link below this video. It's juicy. Um, and you will join our community of Wild Woman Circle Leaders, which are um, blossoming all over. So, happy new moon to you, beauty. Uh, make the most of this new beginning. And I'll see you over at the Wild Woman Project.